friends, it's me, the man, coming back at you. Walks music, yet another word for the day. We uh, want to give God the praise, give Him the thanks, the honor, glory, and honor, life, health, and strength. We thank Him for as well as it is. Nobody else did, could taught us this morning that we could made our eyes wide open and hard to make our feet hit the floor. Nobody but the Lord Himself. So we want to give Him the honor. We also want to give honor to the YouTube fam. Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT. Mama JT as well, y'all know the routine. I'd like to say that uh, we had a Bible study on last evening. Uh, old Satan tried to block it, but nevertheless, we started about a couple of minutes late. But nevertheless, we, we, we had it anyhow. And uh, there was a few people that uh, I was told that was, did get a chance to attend. I want to say we thank those that attended, but see, it's not it's, it's not about midi man people. I thank you for attending, but it's still not about midi man. Uh, we thank you, and uh, but to give God's glory, we want to also say that uh, today is a choir rehearsal day. Uh, we got a choir rehearsal uh, on our first Sunday church, and uh, we we just want to you know we all uh, we know that. It's the old time turn around. Also, they being the, the wife's birthday. And uh, so you know exactly we got to walk, walk carefully. We got to be on our P's and Q's. And they her birthday, you know. We're, we all got a birthday, you understand? So we need to give honor to them, honor to you, and we need to remember people. We need to remember people when it's their time. In other words, we want people to remember us when it's our time. That's what that Bible study was all about last night, the church mission, in other words. People, we need to start, you know, you can make your mouth say anything, and uh, you don't have to say a word. Uh, your actions show what time it is with you. I tell people that all the time, you know, folk come to me, bro, Walker, what about this? What about that? Well, people, you know, you're treating on by fruit. I don't have to say anything to you. You know what you're about. I, I tell you, you can make your mouth say anything, but uh, to anybody that got a discerning spirit and heart in them, they can look at you, they know. They know the word. They know that you, you are a, your tree is known by its fruit. I mean, that's just point blank, people. You can't. Uh, uh, if you go out there and you see an apple tree, it's going to put off apples, not oranges. It's known by, a tree is known by its fruit. So, you know, you can say all this stuff about, uh, I'm not like that, and I'm not like this. and I'm not, Well, people watching you, so everybody know what you are. So just let, let, let it be known. You ain't fooling anybody, so. A tree is known by its fruit, so we're going to go on and forget about that and put that in God and go on. Uh, we just want to say that, uh, like I said, I had, uh, that was a pastor. He passed away a little time back. Matter of fact, uh, I had, I did, I found out about how he had passed away. I forget now how I found out, but I had, that he had passed away a good little while before I really actually knew. And uh, one of my favorite preachers, he used to preach on TBN a lot, and uh, his name was Dr. E.V. Hill. And he was the pastor of the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church in Los Angeles, California, South Central Los Angeles area, and a uh, powerful preacher, man, uh, that I enjoyed very much. I loved to hear him talk. He, I, I, I didn't even have to hear him just preach. I, I, I just love to hear him just talk. You know, people, If a lot of us always say, well, you know, that that's a man. Yeah, that's right. But God uses men and women to do his word. God arm, the only arm God got down here in the earth is mine. The only eyes God got down here are mine. And ears and feet that God has in this planet is the mind in yours. I was last night, late, early this morning, I should say, I uh, was listening and I went, and after I got done here at the PC and everything, I went into uh, the bedroom. I, uh, well, my wife had TBN was on, she was asleep. And TBN was on, and I as I had normally, and I I just tune in, you know, whatever's on, I just check it out, and if nothing really 
interest me that's on TBN at that particular moment in time, I turn over that INSP and check those out. Most of the time, Mike Murdoch or Todd Coons be preaching or teaching on that. But to my to my amazement and 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 to my to my amazement and my joy when I tuned in last evening, this morning early, it was none other than that. Dr. Evie Hill, and God bless his soul, uh, they was playing classic TBNs, and this was a show they was playing from, I believe it was February 1985, which was, I call the 80s was my golden decade, people, the, the 80s was, now let me explain something, the reason I say I call it my golden decade, the 80s was the time when I experienced my college years, my college days, uh, six years of it, uh, I got uh, two years at my Andrew College in, in my hometown, uh, Andrew College, I'm, I'm not know of, I know you know of, uh, heard of it or not, but it was in my hometown in Cuthbert, Georgia. I spent two years there from 82 to 84. When I graduated from there in 84, then I went on to Berry College, senior college, and I spent from 84 to 88, just about 89 there at, at Berry. Another four years of higher learning. All the music, music education, music theory, music composition, music, 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 and also business, business administration. So that's when you hear me say that the 80s was sort of like my golden era or my golden decade. That That is the reason why I say that because that was the time when I really underwent all of my educational, of how I learned and educational studies. And also people, I, I, I endured uh, and I done some things in the 80s, which I, we, you know how it is, we think we having fun. Really, you're not having no fun at all, but that's just the way of the world. You remember I told you that all of us got a pass, people. Everybody got a pass. See, we once were. That's how come we should be more careful now how we, and be could be more compassionate with people that who are, are without, or, or people that are still in the world, knowing that we once were in the world. So when you hear me say that, that's what I mean. But at any rate, this was one of his... Uh, sermons or uh, he was teaching and talking to Paul and Jan and back in 85 February 85 matter of fact at that time I was in the heart of Barry that was my second year and uh oh how powerful he uh, preaching he and teaching he was doing and he was saying something people that I've already said and uh I'm going to take my time to say this this morning he was talking about people about being depressed I was surprised because that's what I've been talking about a lot this year on my, my video about people being depressed. Uh, ever since this year came in, people have shown, really, you remember I said you're treated known by the fruit. Well, by the actions that they've been doing, you they have really shown what side and what, what, what they were, what was in their heart at all times. You see, people, you can tell Middy man this, and middy man can tell you that, and all blah, 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 blah. I told you, you can make your mouth say anything, but your actions show exactly where time it is with you. Um, Dr. Hill was saying that, letting everybody know that this was not it. Don't be suppressed, people. Don't be depressed. Don't be, don't be, don't be dismayed. What you see now, this is not, this is not it. This is not final. This is only temporary. He also told us that from, from, from get, don't get too mad, don't get mad at God. But let's go back and read the contract. See, Jesus told us everything that we were going to undergo in this world, people. He told us he did. He did not. He did not lie to us. He told us that in this world we were going to have what tribulation. We were going to have trials. He said, surely if they did it to me. Oh, what they gonna do it to you too? They surely gonna do it to you. So you see, people, everything is all right. Don't worry. That's what Dr. Hill was speaking. He was speaking of that, and I, 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 I got tickled, and 
all at the same time I got uh, I got another spark that I think I can go on a little bit further. You see, this is how come people we need the gospel. We need men and women that will not be afraid to stand up and preach and teach this word. Not only preach and teach this word, live this word. You see, people, we can sit here on these cameras and do all of these videos and and and, 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 and nothing wrong with that. God knows this good technology and we should take advantage of using it. I feel that. I'm, 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 I love my PC and stuff that I can do with it. Stuff that I didn't never did because I never would have thought I could have done years ago. When I got out of high school, God, we didn't have no computers. We didn't. You didn't have no personal computers back in the 70s and you didn't have no personal computers. We never, this this stuff was new to us in the late 80s, in the mid 80s, really. My first PC that I would took on was an IBM personal computer and it was a disk operating system. In 1984, I believe it was, when I got to Barry, that's when I first started dealing with a personal computer on, a, on a, in any kind of magnitude. But at any rate, people, what we are going through as Christians, Jesus done told us that we were going to suffer these trials and tribulations, but remember, this is this is only temporary. In other words, Jesus said, I have overcome the world, and because I overcame, you will also. So we just got to encourage one another. See, that's another function of the church. The mission of the church, which those of you that was at the Bible study, you know what I'm talking about. The mission and the role of the church. See, we need to stop. We try to just keep on talking about all this here, thin and improving about who's going to hell and who ain't. That ain't got nothing to do to a degree. We put too much emphasis on that. That, that is not in our hands. But what Jesus told us to do and to be about his business, that's what we ought to be doing. It's seeking and saving those that are lost. Not trying to go on and put them in the hell and talking about who's wrong and who ain't. And who you're beating people upside the head with your Bible. In other words, that that's not that's that's not that's not that's not what Jesus told us to do. But at any rate, we got to encourage. And I, my midi man, midi man, midi man got a new, a new re uh, redirected. Now I got a new prime directive. In other words, uh, we we'll stop worrying about is the best of my ability. And let the Holy Spirit be my guide and lead me into all the truth. And when I get to want to feel it, this self pity. When I get to want to feel like I'm all, every, ain't nobody else going through nothing but me. When I get to feeling like that, I'm glad now that I got to, I got to remember the contract. Jesus said, no, in this world, we're going to have a trial trip. See, the people, the world's not going to like you. The devil hates you. He kill you right now if it wasn't for the power of God that's holding and keeping you up under that head of here. The devil will kill us all. But thanks be to God, what gives the hood the victory? So please, people, I read in the book, we got the victory. So with that being said, I don't want to make this here video long, and I just want to say that I, many man, appreciate those that are that I, that that come to the Bible study. I'm hoping that everybody getting some out of the Bible study. Read the word for yourself, people. Study the word for yourself. That way, you won't be led astray. Remember, my, God said this: My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So that being said, many man gonna be sitting there from right here. We're going to end this video. We're going to say we hope you have a, the rest of your week be a great week. This hump day, we call it hump day, but it, we hope that the rest of your week be very uneventful as far as being uh, any catastrophes or calamities. And that being said, we're saying peace and goodbye.